Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So, I am going to attempt to sketch. I say attempt because I'm not that great. But, um, and these things I explained before. Um, just put them here so I don't go out of frame, but I already have. But, I can see that I haven't. I'm just talking to myself and babbling. So, I'm involved in another collaboration uh, with Annie Claxton and several other talented folk. Um, it's inspired by... I was going to write my notes down and I forgot. It's inspired by Woods, Trees and Forests. So I had many ideas flying around in my head. So I'm just going to do a few sketches. Um, so I'll get cracking. Oh, I'm sweating. Right, I was going to try this pencil out, this magic pencil, but um, I don't think it's going to be up to much. No. No, I don't think I'll bother with that. Stick to me normal pencils. Right, so I'm wanting to do a creature like a Wendigo, but different to a typical Wendigo. I can't explain it. So, um, let's get cracking. I want it to have like a bit of a hump on its back. And I'm not going to put its head like you would normally position uh, the neck and the head up like there, like that. Because I wanted to have a hump on its back, the head placement will probably be down here. And can you see that or is my hand in the way? So... I'll do... I want its um, shoulders... I mean, your shoulders are wider than... Well, unless you were fat like me. Um, I wanted them to be much wider than the waist. So I'm just doing that. But the head... Strange. I want the head to be sort of there. And that's the hump. So I'll just put this here for now. Um, I'm trying to think of, um, is it Uncle Festroff, the Adams family, he's got a hump on his back, or is that Le no, Lech is the tall Frankenstein -y one. Oh, well, I don't know. So. That's the shoulders. I want the top of the shoulder higher than the back. Even the hump. Probably end up just um, deleting this video so you'll probably never get to see it. But it'll be cool to um, edit. Right, so there's it. Uh, just do this triangle -y bit now. And now, I want it to have a legs like, um, like this. Can I'm still in frame? Yes. Like, uh, it's just Sata or a, a fawn. So this bit would be quite. Like muscled, wouldn't it? And I wanted to have a jutting out knee. Oh, I don't think I explained. I'm not going to do a... Well, I'm just doing creature design, but I'm not. My finished piece is not going to be a sketch or a painting. It's going to be a sculpture. So... I should have explained that first, shouldn't I? <laughs> 
So the top bit will be muscly and I want the bottom of the leg to be like spindly but still have a lot of strength in it. So does that look weird? Yes it does. But I do want it to look weird and I want it to have a hoof. I want that jutting out a bit more. Hmm. So the arms, I want them to be muscly at the top, but skinny. I always want them to be long right down the floor, but don't know. That looks totally odd there. So maybe it needs to go a bit higher. Probably here and out like that. Put me a razor. But don't worry because if I do show this video I will speed it up. Mind you, I've been talking through it, so I wonder if you can delete your voice out, probably. So then it'll be like a silent movie. Right. I haven't decided what um, head I want either. So, for these legs... If that's on a side view, isn't it? Because if it was full on, yes. Oh, see, not very good at sketching. I haven't done the position of the body correctly. I want it to be on a side. So if that was on its side, then the legs would be moved over a bit. Further down. What am I doing? Hmm. Well, that looks crazy. <laughs> so that's the side view. So I just say the neck would come here and the. So that shoulder would move up here, so there, and it's arm down there. Right. So and this leg would come down. Here. Don't know if that's going to look daft. Hmm. Yes, that looks crazy. 
because if you were a creature like that you wouldn't be standing in that position you'd be sort of that leg here sort of like flicking out this way to position yourself correctly hmm I don't know enough about anatomy and let me see, pause for a second. So I just can't figure that leg situation out because that just looks ridiculous. Um, I do like the shape of its body. <clears throat> I suppose that would... Would that go like that? No, because then that looks like... Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Because your hip, when you're standing around the side, yes, that would be like that, but that looks a bit ridiculous. Hmm. But at least the head, but I want the neck to be going out that way, so. Let's see. Right, so the hump would be here and the sort of neck would come out right here You know, it's so much easier when I'm sculpting it. I can figure it out so much better. And how do I... I was going to do like a wolf's head. And I think I've decided on a skull. But what sort of skull? Like a bed skull. So like that and I don't want it smiling that would be just like a hole wouldn't it there um, and then you'd have them as if it had teeth so even though that's a skull would you still have a neck joining like so, I don't know. Hmm. That looks crazy. Hmm. So I just could not figure this out, so I came up with this. And I mean, it's not the side view, it's like almost a side view, but its body's twisted. But I definitely don't want this head. I think I'll go for a more like a skull's head. Hmm. 
And I'm still undecided on the arms. I don't know if I want them to be muscly at the top and long and skinny down here, showing a bit of, um, what do you call it, veins and stuff. Um, I don't know if I want the hands to be clawed or not. Oh, this looks quite fun because it's inspired by trees. Its uh, arms could be like made out of bark or just a bark covering over the hands and then this um, three claws I've seen something similar on a movie but it was like a human hand and then it had this like I think it was antlers coming out and it was like three claws to stab people with or something like this Anyway, I'm going to go and work on it and see what I come up with. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you bye.